Hello there, welcome back to another video. In this video I will be explaining all the different types of DVI, so let's get on with it. First of all, DVI stands for Digital Video Interface, and it looks generally like the picture on your screen. There are three types of DVI connectors, DVI Digital, DVI Analog, and DVI Integrated, also known as DVI-D, DVI-A, and DVI-I respectively. First off, probably one of the more commonly used DVI types is DVI-D. DVI-D is used for carrying a direct digital signal from a source to a receiver, and in this case, a GPU and the monitor. This provides a faster, higher quality image than with analog due to the nature of the digital format. All video cards initially produce a digital video signal, and if an analog port is used, it gets converted through the port. Analog signal travels to the monitor and is reconverted to a digital signal. DVI-D eliminates the analog conversion process and improves the connection between source and display. Digital is usually preferred when talking about the video for various reasons, which I may do a video on. The second type of DVI, DVI-A, is used to carry an analog signal through the DVI port. The most common use of DVI-A is connecting to a VGA device since DVI-A and VGA carry the same signal. There is some loss of quality involved in digital to analog conversion, which is why a digital signal is recommended whenever possible. Last but not least, DVI-I. DVI-I is able to transmit either a digital to a digital signal or an analog to an analog signal, which makes it more versatile. Like any other video port, DVI digital and analog formats are non-interchangeable. This means that a DVI-D cable will not work with an analog signal, and a DVI-A cable will not work with a digital signal. To connect an analog source to a digital display, you will need a VGA to DVI-D adapter, or to connect a digital output to an analog monitor, you will need a DVI-D to VGA converter. Trust me, it makes sense if you think about it. Please note that many manufacturers will use a DVI port with all available pinholes open. This does not mean that the port is DVI-I. It is a precautionary measure to prevent pins from breaking off if the wrong type of cable is inserted. In order to make sure that you get the right cable for your system, you should verify the DVI port from the label, manual, or manufacturer. I will provide a link to a 6 foot cable for each type of DVI in the description below. As always, feel free to leave some feedback on how I can make better videos as I'm always willing to listen to you guys. Thank you for watching this and while you're here, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I hope this Tech Explained video was better than the last one as I've gotten many replies saying it's fast. Anyways, and as always, have a good day.